Pakistan's Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission, SUPARCO, recently achieved a significant milestone by launching the Paxat MM1 satellite into geostationary orbit. This satellite, designed in collaboration with China, was launched from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. The partnership between Pakistan and China continues to strengthen, with both nations being part of the Asia-Pacific Space Cooperation Organization. Paxat MM1 is set to provide a range of communication services, utilizing multiple frequency bands, including the C, Q, K, and L bands. The C and Q bands are primarily used for long-distance radio and TV broadcasts, while the Ka band supports faster, high-speed communication. The satellite also offers Satellite-Based Augmentation Services, SBAS, through the L-band, which enhances satellite navigation signals, making it crucial for mobile satellite services and certain navigation systems. The 15-year service life of Paxat MM1 is expected to make a significant impact on Pakistan's digital connectivity, especially in rural areas where internet access remains limited. Pakistan, home to 240 million people, has one of the youngest populations in the world, with a median age of just 23. This demographic is increasingly demanding better internet access, and the launch of Paxat MM1 aims to address this need. Improved internet connectivity can boost employment opportunities, allowing Pakistan's tech-savvy youth to tap into global markets and support the country's economy. The satellite is a key part of Pakistan's National Space Program 2047, which also includes plans for future communication, remote sensing, and weather satellites. Collaborating with China on projects like PRSS-1 and PACTS-1A has been crucial for technology transfer and capacity building for Pakistan's space engineers. While Pakistan is making strides in its space program, there remains a gap between its space assets and those of India which has also been advancing in private sector-driven space and defense initiatives. Suparco's progress is commendable, but experts argue that involving Pakistan's private sector could further accelerate growth in space technology and defense capabilities. The future looks promising for Pakistan's space ambitions, but economic challenges remain a barrier to faster progress. There's hope, however, as leaders like Planning Minister Asan Iqbal Envision a future where Pakistan launches its own rockets from its own Space Launch Center. Subscribe for more videos. See you in next video.